Preparations for the general election are now underway. There are two ways that you can vote in the election. The first is to go to the polls. All polling locations will be open for voting on Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. The polls open at 6 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. They will be fully staffed and all safety and social distancing measures will be in place in accordance with CDC guidelines. This will ensure a safe voting experience for all voters who do choose to vote in person. The Registrar of Voters are preparing a very safe and friendly environment for our residents to vote at the polls if they so choose. The second way to vote is by absentee ballot. The state of Connecticut will be mailing absentee ballot applications to every registered voter during the second week of September. Please be sure to read and follow the instructions carefully. It is very important that you complete each section in its entirety. Section 1 is the applicant's name and address. This section also includes an additional mailing address should the voter not be home during the election. This would apply to voters that may be on vacation or away at school. Section 2, Statement of Applicant. This states your reason for wanting to vote by absentee ballot and at least one box must be checked. Section 3 is the applicant's declaration. By signing this portion, you are declaring that all information is true and correct. Please be sure to both sign and date this section. Section 4 is only to be completed by a person who is assisting someone unable to complete the form on their own due to physical limitations. the form is completed, it can be returned to the town clerk's office. The drop box is the best way to return your absentee mail application. Absentee ballots will become available and will begin being mailed to voters on October 2, 2020. The next step is completing the absentee ballot. It will be mailed to you as a ballot set. This set will include the ballot along with two other envelopes, a B envelope and a C envelope. When you look at your ballot, the instructions will tell you to choose one candidate for each office. Once you have chosen your candidate, you will fill in the circles for the person you want to vote for. When you have done this for each office, you will fold up the ballot along the folded lines and place it into the B envelope. Seal the B envelope, then sign and date it. If the envelope is not signed, sealed, and dated, your vote will not count. Once that has been done, you can place the B envelope into the C envelope and seal that. This completes the voting process. It is now time to return your ballot. Please be sure to leave plenty of time to get your ballot back to town clerk's office if you are mailing your ballot. We recommend that you use the drop box outside of town hall to ensure that your ballot will be back to the town clerk's office by 8 o'clock p.m. on election night, November 3rd, 2020. Whether you are voting by absentee ballot or in person, make sure you exercise your right to vote.